So this duty of buying products is accomplished. Life in general is a commitment and there are a lot of duties to accomplish everyday duties, weekly duties, monthly duties, yearly duties, etc. And the more a person got his life more complicated with more commitments to other people, the more his life will get more difficult. And more social relations, it means more commitments and more duties. So the more the person is trying to live alone and uh, interacting with less people, the more his life will be calmer with less duties and less commitments. And every person can choose the path of his life. It is up to every person. So it is up to every person to make his life less complicated or more complicated. Full of headache or without headaches or headache-free life. We can live alone, but in general, a human being is a social creature or a social animal. And living totally without people is uh, impossible as we need from time to time uh, social interaction with people for our uh, psychological and uh, psychiatrical uh, health. So now we will be heading over to uh, Bodega Orrera to buy some products. There are a lot of people uh, clients here who have uh, motorbikes and they stationed and park their motorbikes here so it looks like a motorbike uh, club as we can see it's very humid outside so thanks god it is air conditioned this place and as we can see there are a lot of people that means I will wait in a long queue till I will be able to pay for what I uh, have bought. People, as we can see, like to put their children in these carts. So we will go and buy garbage bags which are located in the far section there. Yesterday they showed me where they are located. I think they are located someplace here. Yes, I think I'm right. They are located here. So these are garbage bags as we can see. So we will pick the bigger, the biggest size and a much smaller size as well. And we will pick this one as well. And we will buy coffee, the dried one, which are located in section or in ISIL 5. So this is ISIL 5, and we can see the coffee here. They have always big discounts, so this this thing is cost less than a dollar is 16 Mexican pesos the garbage fall from me garbage bags okay so now we will pick 
a much larger size which is this one Uh, this coffee, as you can see, it is Orrera as well. It is made and uh, impacked and packed by uh, the same company or the same supermarket of Bodega Orrera. So now we will head over to the automated cashiers and buy and pay for what uh, uh, I have bought. As we can see, there are a very long queue. It is up to the end of the supermarket, as we can see. And it is moving very slowly, unfortunately. So I have to wait. It looks a lot of time here this carriage as you can see it is made for small babies so mothers uh, who have recently born uh, a child up to one or two years they can lay him in this uh, carriage as well this is nice gesture from uh, Bodega Orrera as we can see on the distance Auto Cobro which means uh, automated cashiers or cashiers I think in American accent cashiers there is a small section in Bodega Orrera which is a pharmacy. As we can see, this section is for pharmacy where they sell all types of medicines and uh, medical uh, glasses or lenses. And this section as well is an is annexed section to the pharmacy. all type of spirto in French and cottons and cotton tige which is these cottons for to clean the ears this is first time in my life I see a mountain of chips potato chips they are real mountains as we can see all types of potato chips and all tastes some with spices some without spices some with salt and onion uh, some uh, just natural potato without any additives so we are moving very slowly in a way it looks we are walking on eggs it is an arabic proverb that means we are walking very slowly as we can see, so the queue is progressing, but very slowly. There are many incidents in Ciudad del Carmen where people got disappeared, uh, disappeared in general. They were abducted by cartels. As Ciudad del Carmen is on the way, or is a hub connecting different parts of Mexico where do exist cartels so unfortunately there are a lot of incidents and occurrences related to uh, to this uh, activity harmful activity or related to cartels so Ciudad del Carmen is not considered a very uh, safe place there are a lot of Hollywood movies uh, that the protagonist which is the evil hero is uh, a 
driver of a big truck like this as we can see so when I see this big truck it resembles me of these psychos who appears in Hollywood movies in general there are a lot of trucks as we can see nothing much is happening in Ciudad del Carmen in La Isla de Tris uh, other than a uh, few uh, occurrences or oh, as we can see here this guy is riding a uh, electric scooter so he don't know to suffer he don't uh, he don't have to suffer and uh, exert uh, physical uh, activity so here, uh, uh, this uh, new pharmacy had appeared not long time ago. It's called Farmacias del Ahorro. Te queremos bien, we love you uh, very much. Now we will head over to this local OXO and take a look what product they have inside. By the way, this street, the government has uh, rebuilt it and now, as we can see, this lane is, uh, is well done. As we can see, it is, uh, the asphalt is new and this uh, trottoir, trottoir is pavement in Russian, Protoar is called, is new as well. There are a lot of movement and traffic. These interstates, big lorries move on this highway. This is the entrance to Ciudad del Carmen, as we can see. This is a refrigerator, refrigerated uh, lorry as we can see So we will head over to our local OXO here and see what products they do offer So we are inside the OXO now as we can see all OXOs this cadena this franchise of OXO is organized the same way so uh, if we enter in any OXO here in uh, if we enter in any OXO here in uh, in Mexico we will notice that they are arranged and organized the same way so always there is this section for bread and tortillas this is called tortillas Horneada, that means it is made in oven, dried in oven. Here too there is tostadas, tortillas as well. Here there is all uh, type of fish. Frijoles, frijoles is... Uh, is fasol so frijoles is fasol it is very traditional here refritos which means it is uh, fried somehow here there is all types for uh, cleaning uh, liquids Here always in OXO there is this section, refrigerators, where all types of drink are sold. As we can see there is these juices, juices as well, water, mineral water. Mineral water here, uh, it means the water with gas. And there is normal water as well without gas. As we can see here, the section for Coca-Cola, the section for Pepsi as well. And as we can see, people are buying. Here there is all type of biscuits, as we can see. 
here there is this section where people can make coffee. There is all type of tastes. There is cappuccino, vanilla, mocha, canela. Canela is uh, al corfa, cappuccino con corfa, and there is chocolate as well. Crema, irlandesa, cappuccino sin azúcar without sugar. Aburita is type of drink as well, local drink, very traditional. With canela, I think, with uh, corfa. And there is latte and there is caramello. Here for uh, coffee express. Okay. Okay, muchas gracias. So this guard is saying, uh, is showing me that uh, there is not only this uh, coffee express, espresso, there is these two as well. Uh, there is uh, as well they are co uh, coffee espresso. Uh, one with sugar and one without uh, sugar. The trademark of this is called Andati. It's Italian cafe. Here there is all type of creams and all types of small cakes and petit four as we can see. Here there is uh, a microwave that can be used for free so any person can buy something here and warm it up in this microwave for free and here there is this section as well all type of yogurts laban and uh, whatever this is lala crema which is uh, sour cream and this is cheese and this is tocino which is uh, pig's meat type of jambon in French. So we have finished our tour in uh, in Oxo and now we will head over to Bodega Orrera, this uh, small mall or large or big supermarket. There is something it grabbed my attention that food uh, instead of restaurants uh, in uh, mortar and the bricks uh, shops uh, food is sold in stands as we can see uh, people uh, people uh, do uh, come with their uh, these uh, carriages or whatever is called and uh, uh, cook food for people and people come and buy food so as we can see here, papas, the hot dogs, which is, uh, which is uh, uh, fried uh, potatoes and hot dogs, as we can see. But I don't know why it is called El Gato. It's not nice indication, so I hope it is not some type of meat that we don't know what uh, is origin. And here too is El Gato as well. Tacos y mega, burgo, mega burros. This is type of sandwich, big sandwiches. Tesina y saudero. So as we can see here, this woman is cooking. This is uh, potato and onion. And here there are all types of salsas as well. And here this gentleman. I'm just uh, grabando, estoy grabando solo. Okay, he's frying meat as you can see. And there is onion, he will cut it later, I think. Este es carne de uh, tocino o uh, is de res? Uh -huh. This is uh, cow meat. It is rare uh, to see cow meat in general, but he's cooking cow meat uh, instead of uh, pig's meat. And here there is another type of stand, uh, which we can see it is uh, uh, more stable somehow, as uh, this owner, he can lock it at night uh, without any fear, as it is 
uh, well uh, well protected it is made of uh, metal of uh, iron and the people here as well are cooking as we can see quiero pre preguntarle alguna pregunta ¿Cuál es la distancia más larga entre ciudades? Como por ejemplo, uh, entre uh, Ciudad del Carmen o Mérida y México, la, la ciudad uh, hay uh, 17 horas, por ejemplo, ok, es distancia muy larga. Por ejemplo, uh, Ciudad del Carmen, Belice, Ciudad del Carmen, no sé, Villa Hermosa o algo así. ¿Cuál es la distancia más larga entre ciudades? Que un autobús de... Uh, de ADO puede cubrir, por ejemplo, o no sabe. No sabría contestar la pregunta cuánto se hace, o sea, técnicamente cuáles son los kilometrajes, pero Ajá. de la ciudad a lo más lejos se puede llegar es a la ciudad de México, por decirlo No entiendo. Sí, eh, la pregunta es cuántos kilómetros o cuánto es la distancia de cada. Eh, no. O hasta eh, dónde eh, puede llegar de cerca de. No, no. ¿Cuál es la distancia más larga generalmente entre ciudades? Ah, de por ejemplo, usted vi uh, un viaje de 20 horas, de 30 horas. ¿Hay algo así aquí? ¿Puede, puede ver o no? La distancia más larga que es, esa es de la Ciudad de México. Ajá. Es la más larga que hay. Es la más larga. Alrededor de 17, 18 horas, Ajá, algo así. Ajá, ok. So here I am in the ADO of uh, Ciudad del Carmen and I would be traveling to uh, Merida. So very soon will be my autobus. And uh, uh, very soon I will uh, get on the autobus and head over to Merida. It will be a long journey, but uh, sooner or later I will be there. I'm still waiting for my uh, autobus, which didn't reach till now. And passengers are still buying their tickets, as we can see. My uh, autobus should be uh, on uh, on seven uh, five minutes, but up to this moment, which is now uh, seven and forty three, but the autobus didn't arrive till now, unfortunately. There are a lot of shops. Shop in Russian is magazine. So there are a lot of magazines, which is a lot of shops in uh, this uh, ADO Centro Historico. So where are you from? I'm from Belgium. From Belgium, okay. Uh, why you came to Merida? Ah, for work, not for, uh, not uh, tourism. For work, but I enjoy tourism when I can then. <laughs> okay, what the most places that attracted your attention in uh, in Merida? In Merida, I haven't been long yet, but um, I did the center, it was really nice. In the center? Yeah, the center okay. was really nice, and then I did cenotes. So ah, cenotes, and you swam there? there. Yes. Okay, okay. That's nice, that's nice, uh, okay. I'll, I'll go for the planning for? For the flamingos. For flamingos, that's yeah. very nice too. Okay, okay. <laughs>